Hello YouTube, um, thanks for taking the time to watch um, my video, uh, this is Painish Comics, uh, as I said in the last video I got the idea from Enrique who changed his uh, YouTube channel name to Biggie's Comics, I thought it was a good idea so I stole it, thank you Enrique. Um, as I've got so many books to show I'm going to try to get it through quite, uh, fairly quickly, um, I've said that before and failed, <laughs> but let's see how it goes this time. Uh, first, Platona, Jeff Lemire, uh, love his work, the last like four or five books written by him that I've read, I've loved, um, definitely um, I'm going to pick up all of these, well, I've already ordered the first three, hopefully I like the first one, um, I can't see how it's not going to be an absolute winner, um, looking forward to his new X-Men uh, story coming up in the uh, Marvel relaunch because it's not a reboot as they keep claiming um, so yeah I, I love Jeff Lemire so I had to pick this up um, definitely check out his books if you haven't already done so alright Bitch Planet number 5 uh, I've recently finished reading the third issue the first issue was good you know um, obviously by the end you knew what the second issue was going to be about and this, the third issue was absolutely brilliant. Um, one of the best books I've read. Uh, I wouldn't say in a long time, but it's just, it's just one of the best books I've read. Um, and for some reason I can't find my issue four. I may have to buy another one. Because after reading the third issue, I really want to read uh, you know, the fourth issue and then the fifth issue. It's a really good story. Um, the trade paperback must be out fairly soon, so if you can't get hold of it and pick it up, I highly recommend it. Um, the Walking Dead, uh, 146. Lots of people have been talking about this. Um, yeah, the, uh, the Maggie fighting Rick um, made me feel like this. Maybe something worth picking up. Danger Girl Renegade, issue one. Um, I love Jacob Scott Campbell. I've said before the way he draws uh, the female body, faces. Um, yeah, I just find his work brilliant. So this was a no brainer for me. Another image comic. Um, I read a review that made this seem not very good, but I'm giving it a chance anyway. Um, faster Than Light, issue one. Um, I, I, I think the cover looks cool, you know, with the astronaut, I guess you could call him on the front, spaceships, planets, the, like, red tone of the universe in the background and the stars and everything. It looked cool to me, so I'm going to give it a chance. And if you haven't ordered one of these, what's wrong with you? Uh, we Stand On Guard, issue number three. Um, issue one was good. Issue two was good. How can issue three not be good? Um, yeah, buy it. Okay, next up, uh, Low. Uh, this is one that I haven't paid to the price for. Uh, this was $2.99. Um, there's a couple kind of breaks here, just two of them. Nothing major. Um, Rob Liefeld, uh, Blood Strike, issue two. I uh, like the first issue. This is basically um, the X Force that Marvel wouldn't let him do, uh, which is the feeling I got from the first one. And how can you not say that's not Wolverine? You know. Um, it's definitely, I guess, it's a rip-off of his own brilliant work. Um, I'm not sure. It, the first issue is interesting. Um, I think it's kind of a, a mature story. But I don't know, if you like Deadpool and Rob Liefeld's other work, you should pick this up. And another new book, um, Boombox Studios, uh, Diesel. 
as part one of four. Um, I thought I'd give it a chance. Seems quirky. I like quirky. I'm quirky. Why not? I got this. Uh, this is a Jim Lee cover variant for um, Nerd Block. Uh, of um, Mad Max Fury Road Part 1. Um, I don't get Nerd Block. I do buy Comic Block. Um, but you know, Tom Hardy's awesome. Jim Lee's awesome. Um, I haven't seen the film yet. I know, shock horror. Um, but all together with postage, it was £4.50. Um, as usual with these people that get, I'm not saying everyone, uh, but a lot of people that get these nerd block sort of things, they're not actually comic people, they just like to wear uh, geek attire. Um, they think it's cool. Um, well, these people know it's cool. Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, it's got a couple uh, bends, one right here and another one up here, but nothing that breaks the cover. Um, it's one of those, you know, glossy kind of covers, so I think it'd be pretty hard to have a colour break in that. Another boom book. Um, this is Munchkins issue 1, the 1 in 10 variant. Uh, I like the idea of Munchkins. I was quite annoyed because I missed out um, on like the first issue. I really, this went under the radar for me. But when I found out about it, it was too late and I can't source the issues anywhere. But I found this 1 in 10 for £3.49 including postage, so I definitely had to get it. Let me move these out of the way. Alright, um, as you'd know if you've seen many of my other videos, I like Kieran Gillen. I met him at um, London Super Comic Con, first person that ever signed a comic for me, and I've started buying pretty much everything he's written. Um, this is issue two, and issue three. Uh, I can't find my um, free comic book day issue. Uh, I guess the second book lately that I can't find. Um, I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, as soon as I find that, I can read that, and then these three issues, um, see how they go, and maybe carry on. Uh, I also got the Sex Criminals variant. This is just the bag. I've opened it because that was the reason why I brought it. Um, Sex Criminals issue 11, Brian, o uh, Marley, Brian Lee O'Malley triple X cover variant. Got there in the end. Uh, I spent a whole five pound on this book. I can't show it to you obviously because it's um, a triple X cover and um, I don't know, maybe people as young as my uh, nephew will watch this. So, um, I thought best just to show the uh, the poly bag. Uh, I was a bit annoyed. It's got a couple um, fairly moderate colour breaks in it. Um, but because it, it's poly bag, there's nothing the people that uh, got it from could do about it. It's, it's fair enough, they can't see what the condition is. and. It wasn't their fault, I guess. I don't know. What can you do, I suppose? Win some, you lose some. Um, get that out of there. Batman 44. Um, this is Mr. Bloom's origin story. Um, get it. Justice League 43, Dark Side War Part 3. I uh, have no idea how long it's going to carry on for, but like I said before, I want to get them all and then read them in one big go. You know, I'm not a big DC reader. Um, as you can see from my last video, I want to increase my collection of DC books, uh, even if it's, you know, just buying trades to read. And we also got the Jim Lee variant, I told you I liked him, <laughs> of um, Batman Arkham Asylum Genesis. Christ, these names long. Issue 1. Um, I originally just picked up the um, standard cover, uh, and then after I brought that, I found out there was this one, so I had to get this one as well. You know, 
uh, still getting it for cover price, so quite happy with that. And finally, these turned up. My bombshell variant of 43. Not my favourite, but it's the origin of Bloom, so um, I thought it would be best to get it. Uh, Secret 6, issue 5. It's got Harley Quinn on it. Harley Quinn's awesome. And Harley Quinn 19, bombshell variant. Um, this one's got a few minor colour breaks at the top. You can't really see it. Um, but I've got another one coming, so it doesn't really matter. And I got now this book I've told you about before. It's Fury of the Firestorm, issue 18, and this is the first appearance of the uh, Tokamak suit. I think I said that right. He's gonna be a new baddie in uh, the Flash season two. So you know now I've got the first appearance of the um, the guy who's. Henry Howlett or something like that I believe. I've got the first appearance of the suit that he takes up and I've got uh, his death so I'm thinking that's kind of the, the trifecta to have and they're all fairly cheap. This one was um, £1.23 and that's in very fine condition. So yeah. So this is the one you're probably going to want to get if uh, you're looking to get the Tokamak, or Tokamak, or however you say it, it's first appearance. But then there's also 15, which is the first appearance of the person. If they keep the same name, that would also be a good one to get. And, boom. Batman 657. The first time that you see um, his son, Damien Wayne, in Robin suit and he's on the cover with it as well. Um, only thing wrong with this book is there's like one little tick um, and altogether with postage it was uh, £4 and 9 pence so I'm really happy with it. So now I've got uh, his first cameo, his uh, first full appearance and now I've got the first appearance in the Robin suit. So you know. Uh, 655, 656 and 657 um, I know there's the uh, an older book where he's not called Damon, he's called something else um, Son of the Demon uh, I saw it in that comic book store that I told you guys about in the next town over uh, they want me £10 for it um, I don't think it's like a $10 book at the moment I guess so we really should be about £7 but when I looked on eBay, the cheapest one was 11. Uh, I don't know, maybe I should try to haggle with him. I don't know what you guys think. Uh, is it worth a tenner? I don't know. Um, right, let's get some more books. Alright, I've got some uh, more trades to read. Uh, this one was on the recommendation of my boy JT Mac. Um, I can't wait to get stuck into this. I'm sorry about the bookmark being in the way there. I'm not trying to advertise these people. Um, I don't know if you can buy from them if you want. Whatever. Um, so yeah, this is low volume one. So it's the first six issues, I believe. Um, that's £4.82. That's not bad for a trade. And Saga volume two. I really like Saga volume one. Uh, this one was £6.62. And Saga Volume 3. Yep, I liked issue 1 so much I was prepared to buy the next two volumes. Uh, this one was uh, the most expensive of the three. This was 686. Not bad for a trade paperback. And let's face it, buying the. Uh, I don't know, what issues does this contain? Damn it. doesn't say. <laughs> but anyway, I don't know, what, maybe like issues 11 to 17, I don't know. They're hard to find at a reasonable price. Saga is uh, one of those books 
that's um you know they, they're just really expensive unless you uh, get the new issues at cover price so uh, we're sticking with the trades at the moment and if I get reasonably caught up I'll buy the weeklies they're expensive you know all these comics oh, uh, I'm gonna cut this video there as it's longer than I would have wanted it to be um, sorry for blabbering on uh, thanks for watching the whole thing if you stayed until now uh, thanks for taking this time out of your lives to watch my video um, like and subscribe watch my other videos if you want please do um, comment if you've got any comments that'd be great uh, I'd love to have a, a chat with you maybe or maybe just a comment here comment there if you want uh, whatever it's all cool <laughs> um, alright peace out